Now, on High Tide. Joey. Joey, my brother. Joey, really? A pretty face and you just hand over all your money? What'd you do with all that money? I invested it. I sank every last cent we had into that board, hoping to attract customers. I'm not going on a wild goose chase while you steal a store out from under me. Hey, they're burning the place! Hey! Women rock! <laughs> Work hard enough, you can achieve anything. Hey, Mick. You've been going over those books all night? We're not going to make our next loan payment. Oh, relax. We got lots of money in the bank. Not after mortgage and payroll and taxes. It's no big deal. So we miss one little payment. What are they going to do? Shut us down? It's not a little payment, Joey. It's 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 big. It's it's a balloon payment. And yes, they can shut us down. You were supposed to make sure this type of thing didn't happen. Hey, look, I'm not the one who signed the contract with the most expensive supplier in the universe. And and, and I'm not the one who bought the six cartons of knockoff designer wetsuits downstairs that we can't sell. And I'm not the one who gave Penny three weeks vacation paid. See, you shouldn't let me do those types of things. <sighs> You're unbelievable. I mean, you, you, you practically bankrupt us and you can't even take responsibility. All right, that's it. It's time for the silent partnership, Jack. Yeah? You volunteering? Yeah, I'll hand over 1% of my ownership if you can make the shop a success. Deal. And if I make the shop a success, you hand over 1% of your ownership and give me total control. Deal. Deal. Huh. That's your big idea? It's one of many. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, you're going to have to get them in the store first. Hey, how's it going? It's all right. 15% off. A couple of cappuccinos? Yeah? OK, be a few minutes. Huh. Hey, you see that? Well, aren't you going to do something? Why should I? She's your customer. You're going to let him rip us off just so you can get the controlling share? Not only that, I'm going to charge you for the shorts you just stole. <laughs>
Say, is, is this a 1965 Deke Evans by any chance? It's a 64, actually. Oh, wow. Man, what I would give to, can I see it? Go ahead. What I would give to have a board like this. Well, she's for sale. You're kidding me. Um, how much? She's 4,800. Oh, 4,800, huh? Well, um, the most I could probably scrape together is about 4,000. What do you think? This is a genuine 1964 Deke Evans. It's worth at least 5,500. 5,500, huh? Yeah. OK, well, thanks anyway. Sorry about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, four. But I want cash, no checks. OK, uh, what's your name? Where do you want me to meet you? My name's Desiree. Meet me by Tower 19 in one hour. If you don't, this board goes to the next highest bidder. Got it? Yes. Thank you, thank you, okay. thank you. Oh, Rachel, thanks for getting here so fast. What's the big emergency? I'm expecting Rich's new bikini line. You mean Bouchard? Bouchard's. Right, Bouchard, yeah. Ricky Ricardo, you know, whatever. I gotta get to the bank, I gotta get the cashier's check. Patty's on vacation, Joey's out. I don't know, being Joey somewhere, I guess. Look, can you finish this for me? No. I gotta go. Thanks. Me? So, uh, why are you selling it anyway? I lost my job. Oh. Well, you can have visitation rights if you want. It's gonna be parked up at High Tide Surf Shop right there. <laughs> Gee, thanks. You know, if I'd had five, I would have given it to you. Well, you can owe it to me. I'll see you around, okay? Joey drained it this morning. Delivery for Mick Barrett? What do we do? Give him a credit card or something. Oh, sorry, pal. Cash on delivery. Oh, no, please. If you checked with your boss, we really need this shipment. Please. Let me call the office. Gonna kill John. Relax. Everything's cool now. Next time, make sure you're not over your limit. They make us do that. Excuse me. Hey, Rachel, how's it going? Great. As long as you're not Mick. Well, all that's about to change. I've got the answer to all our problems. Joey, an old longboard? Oh, you poor naive girl. Here, hold this. OK, I'll be back. Is there a bomb scare in here or something? What'd you do with all that money? I invested it. You invested it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. And to think I was worried. Well, you'd better be worried, because soon I'm going to own 51% of this puppy, and you're going to be the silent partner. A partner. The day I become a silent partner is the day I walk naked. Joey. Joey, my brother. I don't get it. 
This is a vintage board. It's a classic. What is it, 64? Yeah. There's maybe eight of these in the world? How did you swing this? We only have four grand in the bank. You're a god. Wow. You know what people would give to see a board like this? It belongs in a museum. Hey, maybe we should put it in a glass case, huh? So what are you two gonna do? Start charging admission? No, we're gonna finally attract the kind of customers we always want. Who designed it? Deke Evans. It's Deke Evans designed it. Well, is he still designing boards? No, but his company uh, manufactures copies of his original designs. We, we carry every one. Well, think of how many customers we could attract if we actually had Deke Evans here to autograph his boards. Hey, we could finally put this shop on the map. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick, it's good to see you again, man. Yeah, uh, you too, Dick. So, how come I'm the only one that never ages? Why, well, you don't know the responsibilities I have. Not true. I got a business, too. I even go into work sometimes. I bet. Hey. Joey Barrett, uh, my next brother. We'll have to hit the surf one day, man. Great. Board's over here. Let's check it out. <laughs> Ready? Why don't you slap down for this, baby? Four grand. Can you believe it? I know it's not in the best of shape, but... You're kidding? It's in great shape. In fact, this is the best fake I've ever seen. Fake? <laughs> Okay, she lost her job, she didn't have any money, and, well, the whole thing was kind of romantic. Sure, strangers meeting by chance, man. One in trouble, the other able to help. It turns into an interesting proposition, like riding a curl. What? Yeah, yeah, and I kind of got caught up in the rush, you know how it is. Yeah, man. What do you say you, me, and the waves try and work this thing out? Yeah. Come on, relax. No, I'll pass. I gotta figure out a real solution to our problems. Hi, yeah, could I speak to the loan manager? Uh, actually, that's why I'm calling. I wondered if maybe, you know, we could get together person to person. Uh, Thursday, Thursday night, 8 o'clock, okay, that would be great. Thank you. I'm not going on a wild goose chase while you steal a store out from under me. Oh, are you really that insecure? Hey, I don't see you rushing out to help the guy. Because it's a one-man job. Fine, you're the man. No, 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 no. You're the man. No, you're the man. No, you're the man. Guys, guys. I will watch the shop. Thanks. Thanks. Go. Apparently, Joey wasn't the only gullible collector in the neighborhood. Out of the seven vintage boards we checked, only one was authentic. Take it easy, man. Joey, what are you doing? This guy's trying to rip us off. Again? This guy happens to be Eric, and he's my assistant. He's a thief. Mick, it was a pair of trunks, and he's already apologized for it. He's even going to help out around here for a little while to make up for it. You ought to let him up, Tiger. Easy. What's going on here? We're just making a few minor adjustments. So no luck with the board, huh? No. Apparently, she doesn't hang out where she rips people off. She? Joey, really? I mean, a pretty face and you just hand over all your money? Rachel, really? Oh, don't be so hard on him, Rachel. He did get her name. 
Desiree something or other? Could be Desiree Campbell. Desiree Campbell? I didn't know we were talking about that, Desiree. You know this girl? Not personally. She's a board designer, works at Barless Boards. Not anymore. She lost her job, remember? So you see. She any good? She's good enough to be featured in Rad Weekly. She good enough to counterfeit your 64 board? Sorry, Joey, but... Yeah. Right place? Yeah, Jess has always been crazy about this martial arts stuff. Hey, can I help you guys? Yeah. Tell Mr. Barlow DeLinks is here to see him. DeLinks? Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I got a post review in my bedroom back in Sydney. Yeah. Hey, Jess, the Lynx is here. So you finally come to your senses. Well, I really haven't made up my mind yet. Jess McBarrett. Hey, good to meet you. How you doing? So, Deke, it's been what, 15 years? This offer's not gonna be around much longer, pal. What offer's he talking about? Jess wants us to go into business together. Actually, he just wants to rip me off for my name. My board's in his name? Hey, we could make millions. So why are you here, then? Well, we wanted to ask you about uh, one of your designers, Desiree Campbell. She owes me money. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear it, but uh, she doesn't work here anymore. Fired? Let's just say that uh, I couldn't afford to keep her around. Too many very expensive materials were disappearing. I am not jealous. Then why are you afraid to leave me alone with Eric? He's got nothing to do with it. Listen to me. For your information, if I don't make this shop a success, Mick's gonna get 1% of my ownership. Are you serious? Whoever makes high tide a success gets 1% from the person who doesn't? Yes. Joey! Joey, why didn't you say so? Trust me, Mick won't win. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You do that for me? Of course. Shop's just up the boardwalk. High tide, right? Yeah. Did you find a job yet? Nope. Still looking. Oh. You mean nobody wants to hire somebody featured in Rad Weekly? You read that article? Yeah. You good at what you do. Well, I tend to exaggerate, but yeah, I guess I'm okay. Small problem, though. My ex boss has it in for me. Oh. Well, why don't you just start your own business? Yeah, well, that takes capital. Something I don't have, remember? I don't know. A lot of people out there are looking for vintage boards. Yeah, well, I already sold mine. Well, then you just have to be creative. Use your skills. You can make lots of money. Are you talking counterfeit? Evidently, there's a market. I could finance you. Get lost. Now, hang on get a minute. Look, I don't need losers like you in my life. No, wait. I you... said get lost. You don't understand. Desiree. What do you want, Rudy? I'm concerned about you. Please, spare me. I'm serious, Desiree. What you did was stupid and dangerous. Well, I didn't have a choice, did I? Honey, you always have a choice. Rudy, I'm not getting back together with you. So you'd rather put yourself in danger than be with me? Look, why don't we just forget about each other and everything will be fine, OK? <laughs> How'd you get her address? Jess Barlow gave it to me. You know, I don't believe Desiree was stealing from her work. She's just not that type. What makes you say that? Well, cuz I just, uh, just got a feeling. Well, Barlow has no reason to lie. She does. Well, maybe he's just misinformed. I mean, what's she gonna do? She had boards in her garage?
Check this one out. Well, none of these are vintage points. said that everything's under control, except everything in my garage is destroyed. So you have no idea who started the fire? No. I guess you're just lucky then. All the evidence went up in flames. Mick, she saved our lives. Hey, maybe it was some other irate customer. What are you talking about? The board you sold us was a fake. What? Just like that one that was in your garage. You owe us four grand. Look, I didn't know it was a fake. I paid four grand for it a year ago. Really? Who'd you buy it from? Uh, from some guy on the beach. Well, wow, isn't that convenient? Did he also sell you the 63 that was in there? <sighs> Look at Joey, I'm sorry. You know the only reason why I sold you that board is because I needed the cash. They were going to throw me out of my house. Hey. I want my money back. Well, I don't have a job. Get one. I'm going to drop you off at the shop. Where are you going? To find out if she's got the insurance on her house. One way or another, I'm going to get our four grand back. Blocking my son. Look, Joey, as soon as I get another job, I promise you'll get your 4000 back. Really? Is that in US dollars or Monopoly money? Do you accept my apology? I sank every last cent we had into that board, hoping to attract customers. We could lose everything. Still, I could probably forgive you, except I don't believe you. Garages don't just accidentally catch on fire. And if I admit that I knew it was a fake, what would you do then? Why don't you try me and see? sitting on your racks wasting space? Please, send it back to the supplier. We're getting in a new shipment. What? Rachel here. Michelle! Oh, oui, ça va bien. Hein? Oh, C'est fantastique. Oh, merci, merci. Oui, au revoir. Uh, Richard's reshipping his new line and apologizes for the mix-up. Rachel. We still don't have any money to pay the COD charges. Which is precisely why he's going to invoice you. Amateurs. Uh. 
Hey, your office said we can find you here. You had to call my office to figure that out. Man, this is the kind of job I want. It's the kind of job you've got. So how well do you know Jess Barlow? Mm. Me and Barlow go way back. He used to follow me around like a little kid. He never made it pro, but he sure struck gold with his boards. So you guys are pretty tight, huh? Uh, he's, he's a little jealous. He kind of hates my guts. I bet he'd give it all up to be pro. Really? So what's that got to do with anything? Well, we were kind of thinking maybe Barlow and Desiree are in this together. Not a chance. You said he hated your guts. Yeah, but he's an upstanding guy. There's no way Desiree could have made all those boards by herself. Maybe she got greedy and Barlow cut her loose. I guess next you're going to tell me that he burned her garage down? Come on. I'm going to go out again. You guys want to join me? No. We'll be at Desiree's trying to get to the truth. Come on. How can you walk away from that? Responsibilities. Hello? She was in trouble. But, Mick, do you think the blood? I'm sure she's fine. Whoever did this probably just wanted to scare her. I hope you're right. Well, let's just go on that assumption, all right? It's time we found out a little bit more about Desiree Campbell, yeah. won't you? Hit the answering machine. No messages. Hit it anyway. Hello, Miss Campbell. This is Steve at the bank. I'm calling to inform you that your account is overdrawn by $357. Please stop writing checks. Must be a boyfriend. Guess again. I can't believe she's married. What kind of husband would let his wife sell her belongings to survive? Well, they don't live together, so they're either separated or divorced. Yeah, but it doesn't mean he's got to turn his back on her. Hey, maybe he doesn't have any money either. Okay, okay. 1314 30th Street. Oh, yeah. This guy doesn't have any money. Look, you're overlooking the possibility that, that she may not need the cash. She's just a con. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Hey there. What can I do you for? I'm Mick Barrett. This is my brother, Joey. Hey. Uh, I want to ask you a couple of questions about Desiree. What'd she do now? How'd you know she did something? Oh, because she's always doing something. I made the mistake of asking her about it this time, and she answered with a baseball bat. Desiree cracked you in the head with a bat? Yeah. It looks worse than it is, but it's a thought that counts, right? She owes us money. A lot? A lot to us, yeah. Yeah. Man, you know, I, I'd like to help you with the cash, but my shrink says that's just enabling her. No, no, you're not responsible. You know, she didn't used to be like this. Ever since she hooked up with Barlow, she's changed. Hey, you want some advice from someone who knows her? Be careful. She's easy to fall for and hard to leave, and nothing but trouble. OK. Thanks a lot. We'll, uh, we'll remember that. Hey, hey, look, look, look. If, if you guys are going to go broke because of this, I can cover her one last time. I just won't tell my shrink. No, we're fine. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Take this money. It's not his problem. So what? We could have got our money back. No, we wouldn't. We would have got his money back. So Desiree didn't start acting all weird until she hooked up with Barlow. I knew it. He's forcing her to do it. Yeah, right. He held a gun to her head and made her counterfeit vintage boards. I'm telling you, Meg, she's not the type of person who would do this on her own. All right. Look, we'll give her one more chance. 
But if she doesn't come through, she's going down with Barlow. But I just can't take that chance. But Jess, you can't cut me off like this. It's a matter of principle, Desiree. But I need the money. I said no. Hey, Desiree, you back? She's got to come home sometime. creeping around in the dark. For your information, I couldn't pay my electricity bill. It's getting to become quite a habit whacking people on the head. Why'd you hit Rudy? Well, you obviously spoke to him. What did he tell you? He said that Barlow was trouble. What? Listen, if you're having some problems with Barlow, just let us know and we'll help you out. Look, you don't know what you're talking about. Get out of my house. What? I said leave. Oh, my God. It's 8 o'clock. Come on. Joey, come on, we gotta go. Let's go. Hey, Rachel, where's the law manager? You cooked for him? You just missed her. But it's not even quarter after eight. I know. I rescheduled for seven so you wouldn't have to deal with it. What? Mick, relax. The market rate has escalated, and if we compound the coefficient of your debt to prime plus 1.6, we can apply the interest above the principal to refinance the balance of your balloon payment without severely impacting your equity. Isn't she great? Now, you two, can you just let me take care of the details? <sighs> Good morning, Mick. Yeah, I don't know how good it is. So, uh, what are we gonna do about Desiree? What I should have done in the first place. Oh. Well, you're not really gonna just turn her in just yet, are you? Look, she's made it real clear she doesn't want to cooperate with us. I want to see if the police will change her mind. Well, why don't we give her one more chance, you know? <laughs> why? Well, look, let me just talk to her, okay? She trusts me. She opens up to me. Will you stop that? Since when? Well, we had a couple of conversations, and... What? What? <sighs> Why didn't you tell me this? Well, because I was worried you were going to just throw her down and cuff her, and I can't let you do that. Look, give me one more chance to talk to her, okay? Maybe she'll come around. It can happen. Oh, you're the best. Hey, if you see any baseball bats coming your way, don't forget to duck. Desiree? Desiree? Desiree, it's Joey. Desiree, it's Jess. I just wanted to apologize for being so hard on you yesterday. I'm sure we could work something out. Why don't you come by as soon as you can? Hey, where's Desiree? I thought you said she opened up to you. Wasn't there. Fine, then I got no choice. I gotta file charges. It's the only hope of getting our money back. You were right all along. What are you talking about? What happened in there? She wasn't interested in helping us out. Just wants to get back into Barlow's good graces. Hey, Dee. Hey, Nick. 
We were just talking about you. Dick here tells me that somebody's out there counterfeiting his old boards. Lucky bastard. Well, we kind of figured you were the lucky bastard. Me? I wouldn't do that to Deke. Hell, I'm still trying to get him to join my company. I told you guys that Jess was cool, man. What about the message you left on Desiree's answering machine? She came by asking for her old job back. Oh, and you felt so bad for firing her, even though she did steal from you, that you tried to hire her back? Not quite. I was hoping to get to the truth by being nice to her. Wait, are you saying now that, that she wasn't the one that was stealing from you? No, what I'm saying is, I think she had some accomplices. I mean, stuff didn't start disappearing until Rudy quit. And now that she's gone, stuff is still disappearing. Rudy Dar? Yeah, yeah, he left about six months ago to start his own company. He probably will, too. Between him, Desiree, and my stuff, they've got enough there to give me some real competition. But they're separated. Hey, business is business. You know, I didn't mind that you stole a couple boards from me, Desiree, but leaving one of them out in the open like that was just stupid. Oh, well, let me thank you for taking care of that for me by torching my garage. You know, you almost killed two people, Rudy. You know, you're not grasping the situation here. Thanks to you, we have an ex-cop snooping around. Desiree, you always research your buyer. Oh, well, excuse the crap out of me for not knowing. Look, everyone thinks I counterfeited that board. You have nothing to worry about. Man, you are nothing but trouble, Desiree. Oh, hang on a second. I lost my job because Jess thought that I was stealing for you. So I think I've been a pretty good sport about this. Now leave me alone, or I will go to the cops. Hey! I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, wait a minute, leave Desiree in there? Gunpoint? You got a better idea? Yeah, roundy round. Well, you know, yada, yada. Oh. Hey, Rudy! Hey, open the door! Look, keep her quiet. Rudy! Don't do anything stupid. I haven't told anyone. Oh, shut up. everyone to back off and I'll confess. There you are. Didn't you hear me knock? Where's your partner? Hey, you mean me? trouble at all. High Tide will be right back. Maybe Deke had the right idea. Working hard is for losers. Guess what? You sold another fake board. No, I got my job back, plus a promotion. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> and Jess gave me an advance so I could pay you guys back. Oh. Now that's great. You know, most people would have called the cops. You guys are really special. I'll see ya. Bye. Hey, bro. All right. Hey! <laughs> well, Jess finally talked me into partnering with him. What do you think? Is it a little too formal? You got shoes on. Oh, no socks. 
Oh, you rebel, you. You want to go out with us? Well, yeah. look, I'm sorry, man, but I got to get to the office. Yeah, make some more rad boards. Yeah, you got it. Take care, See you guys. That's great. Yeah. Oh, but there is still the matter of the wee 1% yet to be settled. Right. You, you can't possibly think that all this is your doing. Oh, come on! If I hadn't bought that board and dumped all our money into it, we wouldn't have had to ask Rachel to fill in. And, well, yes, this is all my doing, so give me. Hey, I'm the one who asked Rachel to watch your shop in the first place, so you give me. What color is this guy in your world? Blue. Hey, guys. So when do you want to sign the papers? What papers? <laughs> what papers? You know, the ones where you each transfer over 1% to me. I'm going to enjoy being partners with you guys. Mm. Waves look pretty good. Yeah. You want to go out again? Yeah. yeah. 